Hi, I'm John Byrne with Poets and Quants. Welcome to another edition of Friday with Sandy. That's Sandy Kreisberg, hbsguru.com founder. And we're we all remote. We're all remote here. No viruses spreading. Indeed. And everyone's washing their hands, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Including you out there. I hope you're washing your hands. Okay, we have with us uh, Brad, who is from L.A. Uh, he has a 690 GMAT, a 3.37 GPA from University of Michigan, where he majored in international economics and history. Uh, he's got a lot of work experience. He's currently working uh, over at Viacom uh, for Pluto TV, uh, which is an advertising uh, supported streaming uh, news service. And his target schools are UT Austin, Michigan, Vanderbilt, and Kellogg. A lot of really great schools in there. Great. L yeah, let me, let me just rephrase that quickly. What we got here is a white male with kind of lowish stats. That's a 337 GPA and a, ouch, 690 GMAT. Michigan, lowish scores. I mean, this is so people can get their heads around it. And he wants to go to Texas Macomb. What, what he's got here is uh, 13 months at Cap One, which is an okay starting job, five years at a company called OpenX Technologies. What, what is that, Brad? Uh, it's an independent ad exchange. So it's an advertising technology co company. Um, it just acts as the buying intermediary platform for publishers that want to sell online advertising um, and then there's the demand side platforms and media buyers that will. Yeah. All right. That. Well, yeah. you, you might uh, do a better job of explaining that when okay. you interviewed. You just really dumb it down. Okay. Uh, and, and then Pluto TV. Uh, yeah, let's try that. How, let's see how you can dumb that one down. First question in your interview. What is Pluto TV? Uh, it's an it's a streaming platform that is an app that you can watch on your phone or a connected TV like an Apple TV, um, and we basically aggregate content and you can watch old TV shows, old movies, like you can watch MTV The Hills or Baywatch. Yeah, um, what's the revenue? So is it uh, you pay for it or ads? Uh, it's all ad supported. Yeah, and and what do you do? Uh, I work on the monetization team, which is basically we set strategy for how we're going to structure our, our advertising. Setup. Yeah, you mean you help sell ads is what you do, right? Essentially, yeah. So it's basically- the Monetization team, that's a good one. Yeah, we just, yeah, yeah. Monetize, monetize, monetize. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm giving you, yeah. look, I'm giving you some yeah. friendly advice here for an interview situation. It helps if you can state it, if you can really dumb it down and put it into, you know, non-jargon, that's all. Okay. All right. Uh, I think you you're know, in a track. Sandy, a standout on this resume is the fact that Brad spent two years in London for one of the companies. Indeed. Uh, okay. Uh, that's, that's good. Uh, you're, you're an attractive guy. There's a consistency here after the year. What, what happened at Cap One? That was just a standard financial job at a at a college. Yeah, it was a, it was a finance rotation program. So there's maybe around 20 kids out of school, and they basically disperse you across the different departments within finance the apparatus. So and then you picked up and left after th you you got the point after 13 months. And how did you get to OpenX? Check <laughs> yeah, I uh, take it I, that's true, right? No, yeah. no shame in that, man. You got no, the, no. the story. Uh, I think it was a combo of just like, hey, I want to. Like I got some good hard, you know, financial modeling skills, which is great. Worked for a big good. Company. Uh, then I was like, I want to work for a tech company. So let's. And then my my girlfriend was like, I want to move to New York or L.A. So we both just started chugging along, and that, and then you know, ended up in L.A. at OpenX. Good. Here, let me ask you a question. How how repulsive would it be to retake the GMAT? <laughs> uh, I mean. Whew. It, I could go, I might take another swing at it before I fire off the applications, put it that way. If, if you did, you you get a 710 or a 720 without too much effort, if you did. Well, there's, a, there's this talk in the, in, the, in, the, in the zone here that your score kind of goes up the second time. 
Yes, uh, the research just, shows that's true. Is that you have a you have a an article in the uh, uh, well, it's in New, New England Journal of GMATs. To yeah, I, th I think the uh, what the research shows is your GMAT goes up by uh, twenty to thirty points on the second try. Yikers! Well, that's something to think about. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, look, I, it's yeah, I took a, an obscene amount of practice tests, so I think that where I scored pretty good. So I mean. I, Probably should give it a go. Well, okay, let's get down to brass tacks. Yeah. You're an attractive guy. You're working for real companies here, uh, particularly, you know, the Viacom, CBS, Pluto TV. You've been gainfully employed. You're a little bit, uh, you got, we're, we're talking five years, six years, three months, seven. Yeah, I guess seven, it'd be seven years of work X. Almost seven years from graduation now. So, yeah, so that's a, that's a little bit on the high side. And then you, you John asked this, how old are you? Uh, 28. 28, yeah, that's fine. That's within the goalpost. Uh, I, I think your, what, what's your first choice? Uh, Texas McCombs. Texas McCombs has a 702 G man and a 348. I think your chances there are in line. I think you should get interviewed. I think you're attractive to them. You know, you're in media, people like that. You're coming uh, from you're, LA. You're a solid guy. Uh, so I, I think your chances there are good. Very good. I think. Yeah, you know, I think I've, I've, I've gone and audited a class there, met with the admissions people and, you know, so like my interest is, is certainly founded in experiences. Yeah, and then uh, what's your second choice, Ross? Uh, yeah, probably Ross or Vanderbilt. I'd probably put him right below Texas on my totem pole. Well, there, I think your chance, Michigan, we're, we're getting into reach territory, yeah. reach. Uh, 720 is their average GMAT, and, you know, that's the average GMAT for white guys like you is always a little higher. Uh, at Vanderbilt, uh, I, I think the, their, their stats are lower. I think your chances at Vanderbilt, you just have to show them the love. You know what I mean? Go visit. Yeah, I, I, I've been visited there last summer. So I've, yeah, I call Kellogg. Uh, boy, uh, small reach. You're that kind of guy. Uh, hmm. uh, Very the, friendly. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you, you look like the Kellogg guy. Uh, <laughs> Their stats are just a little higher than the other schools. They've got a 732 GMAT and a 36 GPA. So you're, you're a real slice below both yeah. of those. Yeah. So that, that's the way I do it. But you got a lot going for you. Uh, friendly guy, media stuff. You work for CBS and Pluto, which is a good mascot name. Public, on, uh, you know, public Ivy. Two years of experience in London. Uh, got some nice extras in here. Uh, Cap One, that, that's a selective program, uh, that rotational program you were in. Sure, sure yeah. Uh, LA, uh, you know, any of these schools gonna like the fact that you uh, lived and worked in LA. Hmm, that's funny. Uh, <laughs> they wouldn't assume that an LA person might wanna go to Austin or Ann Arbor or even Nashville. <laughs> Yeah. It's certainly not well, Evanston. No, I'll just kidding. Well, you, you, raise a, you raise a good point, John. Uh, if that's true, then, then he needs to show them why he wants to be here. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So what, what you, sh you should do this in any case, but for these schools, you should say, you know, I visited, I've got friends there, I, you know, mm -hmm. I, I know I've been to your place, you know. <clears throat> uh, that, that helps in your case in particular, if they, don't, if they don't believe they're gonna get you out of LA. Now here's one thing I worry about. I don't know if you caught this, Sandy. Uh, Brad's goal, to work in venture capital. Uh, you know, that, those are yeah. hard jobs to get. Uh, yeah, they recruit onesie and twosies on MBA. Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that. That makes, I wouldn't it sound like, it makes it sound like you're out of it. Yeah. yeah. You mean you could have that goal, just don't let them know. <laughs> it's not going to make a difference, right? Sure. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I, that's that's a 
that's an interesting one. I was hoping to get a little feedback on from you guys. So I would say I'm interested in, uh, boy, I would say I'm interested in doing what you're doing. They love that. Kristen, they think, you, well, you can get a job. Hmm. That's, that's what schools are worried about, having unemployed people on this. So more like working at, at, in a at a strategic level at a media entertainment company. As yeah, that media of, entertainment company would be good or, or even consulting, yeah. consulting companies that specialize in uh, media or at, you know, media slash advertising. Those should be your goals, so work those up. And, and let's explain why a goal like venture capital is not good given the- Because you, you know, sound stupid, resume. that's why. You, you really sound like you don't know you know, where babies come from. <laughs> <laughs> you know, gen generally to get a VC job, you want a total finance background and yeah. you want that really good, you know, like Goldman, uh, Blackstone, places like that. You'll never get a VC job without an, a banking job first. Yeah, exactly. You need so, an investment so, banking job first. And what you the don't want- job. It, you know, what admissions people do when they get involved in a room and a committee is they say, what chance do we have of uh, helping this guy fulfill his dream? And when they say he's never going to work in VC, they're going to say, no, we can't accept them. No matter what your stats are, no matter what your work experience is, no matter how what everything they say, you know, you know, John, I think what they say is we like this guy back, you know, he'll, you know, it's his funeral, you know, let him come here. We like him. We like his stats. We'll buy his stats. He's never going to be a VC coming out of here, but you know, let him, it's his funeral. Let him discover that. Huh. Schools hate to disappoint people because uh, the, those students get surveyed All for right. rankings. All right. Anyway, <laughs> anyway. I mean, we've I got would it say covered. It's... Very good, John. We've got <laughs> it covered. I, I would say, say too. Uh, like, I, I guess yes. I, I I totally vibe and get what you guys are going for uh, or saying here, but like also. Part of, I think, the draw for me, too, is, yes, obviously, VC would be a pipe dream down the line, but, like, I'm really interested in kind of maybe switching into, like, like consumer product goods from, like, a, like, strategic development position, kind of, like, on the corp dev side of that, uh, kind of understanding, like, the world of that, and then maybe using that as a... Yeah, that's acceptable, blah, blah, Yeah, blah. that's good. Something Don't like say VC. Okay. And incidentally, you could get into a VC firm if you really use a network well, and you and you take focus courses and you really want to do it. But don't tell admissions that. Can I ask a question here, actually? So at so at Texas, they have a thing for for students called venture fellows. So like, while you are a student, you can like you work for a VC firm in Austin. You know, yep. School. So like, I I can still say that that's something that I would be interested in doing. Oh, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. Good thing to know, too. Yeah. And, so and, you're, that, you're and that would be a good funnel for you to increase your odds of getting that job that you really want. Sure. Just don't tell admissions. <laughs> I'm well, glad I talked to you guys. <laughs> now, now, one last thing, because Sandy would normally give you tough love and say, you got to take the GMAT again. But at UT Austin, I think you're in line and I don't think you need to go and torture yourself again. But if you wanted to go to Kellogg yeah. uh, and possibly Michigan, but I think you have an in at Michigan because you did your undergrad there, it would be worth your while to take the damn test one more time. <laughs> okay, if you really want to go to Kellogg or Michigan. Okay. Yeah. Otherwise, I think you're really in good shape for UT and Vanderbilt. Okay. And they're both yeah, great. Yeah, you, UT, I, I think your chances there are you're really in line. I, yeah. And I think that's great. And it's a, so that was good choosing. Yeah. What, what happens is, you know, right now you say, oh, I just want to get in. That would be great if I got in there, if I got in there. Then when you get in, what happens, John? Uh, you might have regret or remorse. Not remorse. You might go, uh, uh, okay, maybe I could get into Mish or Kellogg. Yeah. Yeah, that happens uh, a lot. You'd be surprised. You, you get in easily and then you wonder, okay, am I settling? So I've gone for a bigger brand, a higher ranked school. Hmm. But I think, let me, you know, let me, let me finish off with a great. quote you from- He's a terrific place. Let me, let me finish off with a quote from Dr. Johnson. The inclination of the human mind is not from accomplishment to accomplishment, but from hope to hope. That's basically uh -huh. what, I, what we just said. Yep. After, after you accomplish getting into 
Texas, you might you might not go. That was an accomplishment. You 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 start <laughs> hoping. I, 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 all right. I'm just I'm just begging them to get in at this point. <laughs> well, we're we're hoping you get into all four of your choices and then have a difficult decision to make. So, Brad, know, thanks for sharing your future. story with us. Good luck to you, Sandy. Thank you as always, uh, and yeah. everyone out there. If you want uh, to go through this drill with Sandy, just let us know.